Hello, this is Bern. And if you, like many women, are confused as to when you can ask tough questions from a guy that you're dating, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you when it's best to ask those tough questions, how you can ask them, and why it's so important to be clear about what you're looking for. Stick with me. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a place where I share with amazing, intelligent, accomplished, and heart driven women how to create the relationship of your dreams with no gimmicks, no manipulation, no crazy techniques as a result of you stepping into the best version of yourself. If that's who you are, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you an answer as to how you can ask questions, when you should ask questions, because if you think about it, I get this question asked a lot. I don't want to have a guy run away from the date or never call me back because he feels I'm pressuring him. But on the other hand, I don't have the time or the energy to waste lots of dates only to find out late in the game that the guy has a completely different vision. He lives in a different planet than the one I'm going towards in terms of relationship. So how do you balance this out? When should you ask tough questions of a guy? If you're watching this video right now and you don't have hours and hours and years and years to get what you want, then it becomes important to cut to the chase and be willing to ask tough questions earlier on. So the first thing I'll share with you is that asking questions early on is a much more recommended step than waiting a long time to ask those questions. Why? Because if the guy is in a different planet than you, has a different vision than you, then it doesn't make sense to, as much as it's enjoyable to connect with him, makes no fucking sense for you to connect on dates and dates and dates with him if it's not going to go anywhere because you're in different spaces. Now, there's always a chance that he could change his mind midway and actually want more of what you want. My guess is you don't want to risk it at that level, number one. Number two, there's plenty of men out there who are clear about what they want in such a way that you don't have to waste time with guys who are still figuring out, going through emotional puberty of some sort. So the first thing, first reason why I feel it's important to ask questions early on, as early as the first date, yes, you heard me right, the first date, is because it saves you time. It's a no-brainer. If the guy is not interested ever in marriage, or the guy's interested in marriage, but he wants no children, and those two things are super important to you, maybe you don't want to get married, and you do want children, if those two things are very opposite, then there is no need to go on a second date, no matter how awesome, how fun, how cool the guy is. There's no need for that. Now, second reason why you want to ask questions that are tough, and I'll show you how a little later, because there's an art to asking questions. You don't just want to interrogate the guy, put him on the spot, do an inquisition, because then he will run away and with actual good reason. So the second reason why you want to ask tough questions early on is because it shows you his level of self-awareness, number one, and it shows you his clarity of vision. Because what's the truth? I mean, if a guy has no idea what he's looking for in a relationship, is that really the kind of guy you want to be dating right now? Do you want to date a guy who has no idea what he wants? Do you want to date a guy who's trying to figure out as he goes? If you are not trying to figure out as you go, if you know what you want, it makes no sense to date a guy who's just figuring it out. Why? Because life is too short to waste time. Sometimes by the way he answers, you get a chance to see if it's true, if it's not true, if he's sharing something you just want to hear, if, it's being, if he's being honest with himself. It, it tells you a lot how someone can answer a question that's not necessarily the easiest question to answer. Third reason why it's important to ask tough questions early on of a guy you're dating is because it sub subtly, <laughs> in a subtle way, <laughs> sends the message that you are not fucking around. And I'm not talking sexually fucking around. I'm talking you're not, re you're, not, you're not there to just kind of see what happens. You're also not there to push it through or anything like that, but you, you're, you have a clarity about what you want. You are high value and you are looking for someone who has a similar vision than your life. So it raises your value for the right guy. And I say for the right guy, because if the guy is really, really not clear on what he wants, you asking him questions, even subtly, even with, so, even if you're soft about it, even if you do a circle around question, is going to scare him off. So know that if you ask a question the right way and the guy gets scared, that is not the guy you want to be spending time with. 
Now, that big caveat of the whole thing is, I am presupposing that you're looking for something long-term, that you're looking for something perhaps monogamous. If that's the case, then this message that I'm sharing with you fits in. Now, how? Okay, so if you're clear, you say, Bern, you sold me on the message. I think it's better to ask questions early on. I don't want to waste time and I won't, and I, I know what I want, so why would I be spending time with someone who doesn't really know what he wants? Well, the best, the next part of the whole thing is how do I ask questions in such a way that it's not an inquisition, that it's not an interrogation, that he has no real excuse to run away. And the question, the way you do this is, uh, I'm going to share with you four different specifics that you need to be mindful of. First one is make open-ended questions versus short uh, specific questions. What do I mean by that? If you say, wouldn't it be great in the future if we get along, if I have your babies? Well, that's scary for anyone, right? That would be not open-ended. That's very specific and related to you. Don't relate the questions to you. Make them open-ended and talk about a woman, ideal woman, not even you. Someone that he finds is what he's looking for, okay? So, for example, it's, there's a difference between asking that thing that I just shared with you versus what are your thoughts on children? What are your thoughts on children is open-ended. It allows him to elaborate as much or as little as he wants. It takes you out of the picture. And of course, he, in his mind, he's thinking, well, obviously this woman, I mean, might be interested or not interested in children. You're not even saying, I want children. You're saying, what are your thoughts on children? If you ask that question, the guy can answer in a way that's authentic. It's early on, so he hasn't invested any dates in you. So he's free to share what he wants. And he's not put on the spot in the way that he doesn't have to say, well, me and you, because it's not about that. It's just open-ended. Second way, I'll give you another example. Imagine that you want to figure out if the guy is interested in marriage versus no marriage. And uh, if you say, well, do you ever see yourself getting married? That might be a little too intense. Or do you see us getting married? That's even worse. But what are your thoughts on marriage? <laughs> That's simple. What are your thoughts on marriage? Um, I like it. I don't like it. I think it's cool. I'm open to the idea. Uh, I would do it if she wants to, but I don't want to like, you can get so much more if you relax a little bit and allow him to elaborate. Second um, key that I'll give you right now to ask questions is ask questions detached from the outcome. And specifically, what does that mean? That means that if he answers something you don't want, instead of cringing your face and you're tightening your body and like, almost like saying, oh my God, it's a waste of time. Enjoy it. Say, okay, great. In your mind, think, well, if it's not what I want, thank God I spent one date versus 25 dates getting this clear, specific, show-stopping answer right now. So get excited when you hear an answer that's not what you're looking for instead of feeling disappointed. Detach yourself from the outcome. Allow him the space to answer whatever he wants. And then you can make up your mind after the date if you ever want to see him again or not. Third one. Mix tough questions with easy questions. Now, you're not going to get all your answers to all your tough questions on the first date, and you shouldn't. That's not at all what I'm advocating for. I'm asking for maybe one or two questions that are very, very important to you. Get a chance to ask one or two tough questions and mix them around with fun questions, alive questions, questions that allow him to shine as well. Throw him a bone, basically. What are you excited about? And he can elaborate on that. Or what are you great at? And he can tell you more about it. Or I read on your profile that you are really good at hunting. Tell me more about that. Whatever it is that he's interested in, ask him a question that allows him to shine and mix the questions that are heavy with questions that are light and more fun and playful. Fourth one, tone. Your body language, your disposition, your smile, your seriousness or lightness when you ask the question matters. The words you ask are important. The state, the emotional state you're in when you ask those questions, your ability to create an open space of no judgment matters more than the actual question because he's going to feel something very different if you're relaxed, happy, and playful as you're asking a tough question versus if you get all serious, tighten up your body, take your pen and paper, uh, turn on the video camera and lights, and then attempt to record an answer for him. That's going to feel weird, right? So don't do that metaphorically speaking with your emotional state. There you have it. Ask questions early and often. Make sure that the questions are mixed and also make sure that you're in an emotional state of openness and detached from the outcome. If you find, my dear, that this is something helpful to you, insightful in some way, or useful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. 
and uh, click the little bell if you want to avoid missing out on new episodes. Number three, on the description of this video, on the first line of the description of this video, you're gonna find a link that takes you to a master class that I created where you can learn more specific ways of entering an amazing relationship and creating the kind of life that you want with a guy with a lot less pain, a lot less uh, pressure than you've created in the past, and it's absolutely free. Now, if you're looking at this video and you're saying, Bern, I love it, I, I, this is not the first video of yours that you watch, or I watch this and I think that maybe you can help me, if you are in that category who is willing to go above and beyond, not just watching videos, but doing massive action to create the result that you want, but having somebody hold your hand through the process, then what you can do is you'll find another link on the description of this video that allows you to submit an application to work with me. And when you submit that application, I'll personally review it. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reply back and set up a time for us to connect. And if we can't help you, we'll let you know and no harm done. But uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me into your heart, into your cell phone, into your life. Please practice this stuff. Send me a message uh, on the video as well. Let me know how, what you're thinking about this, if, you, if, if, you, if you're about to apply this. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.